<clears throat> we're live. <laughs> we're we're here. Hello, all. Not. Hello, Hello, all. I'm Hi. Evan. I'm Spencer. I'm Amalia. I'm Taylor. And, and we're the Northern Lights. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was really off. Oh. Um, hi guys. Oh, David hi. Nice. Hello. Thanks hello, for coming hello to in. David. I'm in. You're in school and still watching this. That's dedication. What class are you dedication. skipping? Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. And education is important. Hi from England. Hi England. Hi England. Hello. Thanks for being a fan. Thanks for the love. <laughs> hi guys. Hi Sienna. Yeah, yeah, I definitely can't see any yeah, Instagram see. stuff, so it's it's up to you, ladies. Okay. Oh, really? Whoa, whoa. David John Not Cole, definitely. I see you. Okay. <laughs> Can we start out? Have everybody introduce themselves and who they play. I'm sure lots of people know, but this. Great. Good. Alrighty. Sounds Great. good. Okay, I'm Taylor, and I play Taylor West on the show. I am Amali Williamson, and I play Maddie West on Northern Rescue. I'm Spencer McPherson, and I play Scout West. And I'm Evan Marsh, and I play Henry West. No, not Henry West, just Henry. <laughs> he wishes Henry, the Henry West. He wishes Henry West. I really don't. My whole point of my character would be really weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. I was thinking, like, if we got married, oh. but that would Yeah, that's why I would take thinking. my last name. What is your last name? Do we know? Yeah, we wanted to. Did, did you watch our stream? I oh, couldn't didn't. watch the whole I, I was uh, at school, I, I couldn't everyone. watch it. I watched, yours. Nah, I watched cool. most <laughs> of it. I didn't watch yours either. I was at school. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I didn't watch, watch yours either. It was Michigan's in the house. France is in the house. <laughs> Japan. Ireland's in the house. Dubai's in the house. This is crazy. This is going so well. <laughs> this Getting, is going so Getting. well. Um. Uh, <laughs> you love the show so much. Thank you. Awesome. Love the show. We need a season awesome. two. Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's get awesome. uh, let's get a question going. All right. I got a question for you. Um, this uh, a question from Kathleen Roberts. From Kai Kathleen Roberts. Okay, Kathleen asks, "What did you learn about yourself as an actor through playing these roles in this show?" Mm. Kathleen hitting us with the now. If you want to think about that for a minute, we can throw some not so serious questions. But that's a question I'd love to hear. Yeah. What about my, myself? What did you learn about yourself as an actor? Who? Um. Okay, I can I can take it. Um, <laughs> I learned <clears throat> I need to work on my um, sort of improv -y stuff. Uh, and one person that helped me a lot with that is Evan. <laughs> he uh, he's so good at um, he, like he learns the script, he knows his lines, and then we're doing a scene, and he's just adding in all these little bits. Yeah. And these little nuances and these moments and like just a word here and he's not changing the script, but he's adding all of these little moments in that make it Evan playing Henry. Yeah. And then so I started doing that and I loved what came out and I do it now in auditions and stuff. And you know, you try you have to set yourself apart from the rest, right? Especially with auditions. Mm -hmm. So um that's something that I, I learned that I needed to work on as an actor, and I'm still working on that, and Evan really helped me with that. Very sweet of you. Oh, <laughs> ah, I threw um, my hair. Anyone else? Yeah, um, I learned about myself that um, I was capable of more than I knew I was, mm -hmm. that I could like get myself into places, and emotionally, that I didn't know I could before I did this part. And I think that's really cool and it helps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it helps boost your confidence, doesn't it, when, <laughs> when you're the lead on a TV show? <laughs> it does. It truly does. Mm -hmm. Even at 25 years old. It's just, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> She's not 25. No, I'm not 25, I'm not 25 actually. I so Google, Google decided yeah. to um, oh, here, here. make you're myself. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Google decided to... Um, Say I was 25. I don't know how that happened. I'm 14. I'm turning 15. My birthday's on Monday, yeah. April 1st. There you go. The facts came everybody. out, everybody. Yeah, April 1st. everybody. <laughs> April 15, Fool's not Day. 25. It's been confirmed. <laughs> oh. Japan in the house. Japan. North Carolina. Puerto Rico. Sweden, Michigan. Unbelievable response. Sweden. What did you learn about yourself, brother man? Um, I learned a, a lot about like 
I had to do a lot of activities that I was previously mm. yeah. unable to do right. for this show. And um, and I, I feel like, yeah, I got to learn a lot about what I'm capable of in terms of uh, athleticism, yeah. in terms of musicality. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a cool challenge. Yeah, yeah. you did That's a really so good job at that. Good job about that. Mm -hmm. On my live, I had a question if you actually learned how to play the guitar for the role or if you played it previously. I was like, nope, you learned it. Just that good. <laughs> Such a talented talent. little bean. Oh. Bean? Bean? I don't know why I called you a bean. Bean? Oh, that's what Ellie calls me, little bean. Oh, that's cute. Shout out to Ellie. <laughs> yeah. uh, Shout out Ellie to Ellie. Jones. Thanks for not flying yeah, wow. to Toronto for our live stream. <laughs> yes. Staying in LA where it's warm. Whatever. <laughs> it's a balmy... Yes. 14 actually today. Maybe that's just because my car was missing. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually 14. Anyway. Here's a question for each of you. Um, so where are each of you from? Like born and raised kind of from? Where are you from? Okay. Um, from Kitchener, which is like an hour outside of Toronto-ish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a fluffy. <laughs> Love that. I'm from Woodstock, uh, which is actually close to Kitchener-ish. Mm -hmm. I'm from Oakville. Which is uh, pretty close to the city, half hour. I'm from Mississauga, which is right beside Oakville, and also half an hour. So. <laughs> His school was like right by my house. GTA. Yeah. yeah. We're Love GTA you. peeps. Um, okay, uh, your chemistry on screen is amazing, says Wendy Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, um, thank you, Wendy. And uh, she wants to know, was there instant chemistry between you? Did you guys click right away? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah I wasn't really sure <laughs> about Evan. Yeah, uh, he was a little... No one was. Eh. At first. I had to pay my way onto this production. Kind of just yeah. like wanted to... Maybe kicking to the really, a couple times. Just yeah, <laughs> it took a little while for us to warm up to that one. Um, but no, we we lived together pretty much. Um, it started off with Taylor and I mm -hmm. and Bobby, Taylor's mom, who's a wonderful woman, and I love that we live together. And then Spencer <laughs> moved in after a couple of weeks. Oh, and yeah. then when Evan came up, he stayed with us too. Like we wanted him to. Yeah, we Force were up. literally a family. Force. Yeah, we, we kidnapped Evan. Yeah, and yeah, uh, we made Sp him. Spence and I, as we mentioned on our stream, which I'm sure you all watched. Which um, okay. they, we knew each other for some time. So him and I, had, I even though actually Henry and Scout don't have a whole lot uh, of scenes together, which I think they should. Yeah, it's getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> working on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we we got along right away. And Taylor, how can you not? Absolutely love her, and I'm always great. Aww. Thank you. I insulted you, so I was waiting for an insult back. Maturity. Quick, quick FYI, okay. we've got uh, Tyler online. You guys remember? Hi, Hi Tyler. Tyler. Of course Hello. I do. How can you he's so Tyler? tall. How he's like a giant. Him? I'm like this big, and he's just like up here. So is Billy. Billy's like... <laughs> so speaking of family, how does your own family inspire or resonate with your role? Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm the oldest of four siblings, so I get this. Um, I have, yeah, I, uh, my sister Holly is um, 21, Ricky is 19, and then Samantha is, she just turned 12. So, uh -huh. I mean, her and Taylor on the show are literally, <gasps> oh, <laughs> caught it, caught it. We just have a little bit of a I'm a wizard. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Sam and Taylor are like the exact same age, so. Uh, on the show, yeah. Yeah, and so I get what it means to, be the oldest in a family. She also has, uh, I can speak to how great her family is. Yeah, Thanks her family is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I have an amazing family. So yeah. I know so when do we were I doing know. the emotional stuff, it, it wasn't hard to, to pick and choose how. Or to, to get to the emotional place I needed to be if, you know, I lost any of my family members. Or even the fighting mm -hmm. scenes. It was easy to pick from real life. <laughs> <laughs> mm. In my family, I'm actually the oldest. I have a younger sister named Addie. She's the same age as her sister. Um, but Taylor, like my character, is kind of like mature for her age. And she mm -hmm. kind of like tries to look after her family. And I feel like that kind of helps that I am the older sibling because I kind of understand that. But it's still nice because I get to play the younger sibling and sometimes like rely on these two and these, these two. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think you're very mature for your age, too. We get along so well. Quick, we do. <laughs> quick question for you over here. Oh. Uh, for Evan. For Evan. Didn't you and Christian 
play Brothers on Working Moms. We did. We did. Uh, I watched it. Thank you. I love Working Moms. Congrats, Evan. I Thank love you. it. Christian and I had actually only met, like, I think once on Northern, so we didn't. We drove back one time. Yeah, but that was after the audition. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we didn't actually have any idea that, and then, and then we were about to drive back, make a long drive, and he was like, yeah, I'm curious, Jeff. I saw you at that audition. I was like, yeah. He's like, did you get it? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I got it. I'm like, oh, damn, okay, we're getting brothers. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We worked well together. Another question, yeah. but a comment for Spencer uh, from Brandon Rhino saying you did a good job kicking that dude's butt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was a great scene. That was you such a good about, scene. Sort of stunts, and what was like uh, doing that during your own fights? Oh, it was good fun. I, I mean, the wrestling stuff was a little bit more like technique. Kind of base, but then that last fight was a uh, that was an all-out brawl, huh? <laughs> a, little more, think, a little more street, right? a little more street, you know. But yeah, a little more hood, a little more, yeah. Hate but, that uh, I did that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it was it was fun. It was fun. I I uh, I liked the the fantasy of actually being good at fighting because in reality, I probably would have just thrown. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We have, we have to address. Evan's the, mom is on the line. Uh, my mom is. Uh, my mom is quoting the uh, lyrics to Mother Mother from the opening. No, I had a theme song. The clean version or the the, the, the clean one? Yes. Um, we have to address what? We we got two. We have to address the uh, the big elephant in the room question. Episode, or sorry, season number two. Are we going to see one, when, how, etc. So okay, to you guys. it's up to you guys. So we would love to do it. So make sure you rate the show on, so make sure you follow, follow Northern Rescue. Rate the show on IMDb and on Rotten Tomatoes. Yep, make yep, yep. Sure you... It's all in your hands, so how bad <laughs> do you want it? Um, make sure after you watch it on Netflix, make sure you... <laughs> I'm always having too much fun with these cue cards. Yeah, I, and you're cueing it, and then I'm holding it up. We have like an um, hour to use these. <laughs> just an hour. Like all of you can watch it on CBC Gem. If you haven't watched it, tell your friends to watch it. Watch it, binge watch it, rate it In on Canada. those apps. And on Netflix, you can watch it everywhere else. But yes. rate it on IMDb. Rate it on That's IMDb. important. You can rate it on Netflix after you watch it, I think, too. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can rate it on Netflix. And you can request on Netflix. You can request shows. Yeah. So make sure you do that. that. Yes, all those things. All of those things. All oh, oh, and hashtag renew for two and tag Netflix and CBC on our posts, Northern Rescue's posts, and yeah. Follow us all. Follow us all. Follow Northern. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Moving yeah. on. <laughs> where, where is Tux from and what was it like working with the penguin? So, Tux was from the West Edmonton Mall. It's the African penguin, played by Deo and Skadu. Um, there's two of them. Yep. Deo is the one we used mostly. Um, Skadu was, I guess, there for like moral support, mm -hmm. I think. There were a couple of times we used Skadu. Oh, yeah, a couple of times. But I mostly think. with you. Mostly with you. He was the yeah. stunt double. Oh, yeah, gotta yeah. have stunt double, right? Yeah. Um, it was amazing working with penguins. Uh, they're so adorable, first of all. I got to learn so much new things about these wild animals like I never knew before, about like precautions, how to hold them. Um, how to like not be scared of them and walk around a chair and like make sure not to touch them. Amalia. <laughs> they hated me. <laughs> I just did, 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 I was so scared. I got, yeah. Well, not to brag. Not to brag or anything, but they kind of liked me. <laughs> not me. They're, they're not the most ideal uh, pet set animal. Mm -hmm. No. Right, no. Or pets. Please. You can't train a bird. Well, you can't also hairspray. You can't have any hairspray. And that's a, a big part. I mean, Evan's got to keep up that hair, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. Those curls aren't yeah. real. <laughs> Evan, Evan had a, a couple of, a couple of mount, meltdowns. Not being able to use his hand. Oh, sorry, I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> the joke was done. It was done. It was over. And we I we know who back. actually had the meltdowns and who was actually the diva on set. Yeah, right. It was the penguin. It was one time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get us some questions from here. Uh, this yeah. question for Henry, a.k.a. Evan Marsh. Will <coughs> the SS Maddie West ever sail again? Good question. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, little little unknown fact is when uh, when my heart was broken um, after my little date, Henry <laughs> went and just put a hole right in the bottom of it. Oh! <laughs> but since then, he's realized that was it over. Like, he shouldn't have done that, so he pulled it up, and he's fixed it, and he's got, he's got plans. But, again... We can only find out if there's a season two, guys. 
So you guys should make that light lighthouse episode happen. Yes. Yeah. I would love that, like a haunted yeah. episode. Ooh, yeah, like, haunted all, episode. Like, like a theme where it we could be on a, a Halloween episode. Sorry. Halloween where we episode. All, where we all play oh like gosh, so the, cool. the characters in the story, but like we're other people. We but, all oh, die. Someone is like gosh. the lighthouse guy, and like it's just a complete theme episode. I'm so confused. Going <laughs> we're going. We're going. Uh, sorry. We actually last time <laughs> in my <laughs> life, we talked about what shows we wanted to have a cross with. And then there's like one there's like Degrassi and then Spencer's character is actually the same one and they're just like, oh my god. Like a, uh, and then there's like an us moment where he turns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, then so and then there's Grey's Anatomy because I'm sick and then we go to the hospital, you know? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's that, that that was me that asked that question, remember? Oh it was? Yeah, which show you want to cross with? It okay. was? Oh yeah, happen. and then we said Riverdale and you were like, nah, it can't happen. Yeah, too too much hot hot redhead already on one show. <laughs> 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 Sparkly Gab 15 says, I ship Maddie and Henry. Do you guys ship? It? Yes, Absolutely. I do. Team Henry. This is what I saw on her live the whole time. Every time she's like, eh. I'm like, you're killing me here, Leah. Of course you're I ship Maddie. You're killing Henry's Henry. character off. No, of course I do. I feel like he's cringing and he's moving away from me. Of I, course I, I do. I ship them, but um, I think if there were to be a season two that. Uh, you know, maybe Henry's kind of moved on. Henry, you know, Henry's not. And then Maddie gets jealous? Henry's not. What's the, what am I trying to say? He's not. He's not just always there for right. Like that's how you expect Henry right, to be. Right. And, then, and then you kind of all of a sudden when you when you want something and it's not yeah. there. I don't know. I'm not a writer. And I think I, need, I think Maddie needs to experience some more doozy relationships first, personally. Mm -hmm. Some more Jack. Well, somebody says I ship Maddie and that first guy, Jack. What's Jack. No. You Sister strong. disagrees. No, no. Can you, can you no. take that person off this stream? <laughs> <laughs> He's kidding. Spencer, yo, grassy rain or northern rescue? What? <laughs> you have to think about that. Northern rescue. Northern rescue. Northern rescue. Come on. Okay, good. Okay, so you're never gonna be on the CW again. <laughs> you're never gonna. I love them all. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. I think you're just happy and thankful to be a working. I Absolutely. I think I think also you guys are happy and thankful Ellie! to have Spencer. Ellie! Hi, 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 Ellie! What's up, losers? I'm not a loser, just them. I'm the cool kid. Hey, uh, Ellie, up, Ellie. Ellie, do you want a request or, or what do you like? What do you? What's yeah, up? Yeah, request to be she on. She should do it. I guess it wouldn't be on the Facebook one. It wouldn't, no, but we could just do it for a sec. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, hi, Ellie. Um, okay. Uh, I saw one that said, are you all from Canada? And yes. Yes, we, we are. are. We're all Canadian. Well, us. We yeah. love you too, Columbia. We love you. Love you. Um, Hi Columbia. to Victoria. We got the Netherlands. Oh, yes. We got My people mom's from on Germany, here. Puerto Rico, Mexico, and the Netherlands. Mexico. Nebraska. Well, a question. What's your favorite filming location in Perry Sound? Filming location. Hmm. Hmm. I like the slice because we're right. I like the slice, slice too. Nice. The slice the is nice. Street. Yeah, and uh, and it's nice where there's people walking by and it kind of feels part of the community. I liked um, outside of the Aquaverse. Oh yeah, it felt yeah. the most like Perry Sound. It felt the most like you had the water right there and the trees and everything. Stinky. <laughs> stinky. I guess it was stinky. <laughs> it was a little bit stinky, but I re uh, oh, we're losing our camera again. Uh huh. Um, I really liked all the, the scenes that we shot outside, like by the water was really nice. Um, I liked when we were shooting on Georgian Bay, even though I was terribly ill. Ugh. Um, and it was kind of That was my cold. first experience with her and I thought she just hated me. Yeah, he was trying little, to- Little did we find out, she just does. <laughs> so Kidding! Were, were you sick ill or was it- No, I was- water I, I, No, I was sick. sick. I had like- I, I thought I was. I had a fever. Mm. Although it didn't uh, come Nothing. across at all in the performance. Thank you. Yeah, she's just, just that good. Yeah. Japan, Belgium. <laughs> Tyler says his favorite place to shoot is Trestle Brewery. Trestle Brewery. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you meet anyone who stood out in Perry Sound? Any of the locals? That's my mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> saying that. Um, yeah. <laughs> The, the the guy who thought that I worked at, he thought that he recognized me, but he thought that I worked at Tim Hortons. That oh, yeah. stood out to me. Right. That was hilarious. Oh. Um, who else? Did anybody yeah. stand up for you guys? What? I, um, I, 
Oh, How about no. this Bistro by the Bay, all the staff oh, yes. there. We love that restaurant. Um, once person said, I want to be an actress. Would you have any advice for me? You guys have any advice? Stick with it. You gotta have the passion, you gotta have the drive. You have to be able to take some reject rejection. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to put yourself out there. It doesn't get handed to you. No. It takes a lot of work, a lot of hours, a lot of dedication. I'll give yeah. you a quote. Take acting oh, classes. From Will Smith, who's one of my favorite people. Mm -hmm. He says, there's no time for plan B because it just distracts from plan A. Your license plate is no plan B. <laughs> Which gets oh. a little muddy. But, yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, it um, doesn't. Yeah, no, great quote. It's, yeah. it's true. You, you got you to gotta really, really want it. You can't be like, oh, I, I kind of want to be an actor and maybe do it on the side. Yeah, no. no but it's, I also don't want to be like a firefighter. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> got to go. Yeah, you have to just Balls focus all your energy on it. And if you really love it, it should be that hard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, in real life, do you have any of your character traits? That's from Rita. Hello, Rita. Do I have Lovely one? Rita. Mita made. You know that song? <laughs> Beatles? Come on, guys. You know what? I played Rita in a movie. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, you take that one away. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total dork. Absolutely. Like, yeah, right? Absolutely. 100%. Dad joke. Maybe we should answer this, like, for each other. Okay. Would that okay. Be so Henry's a loser in real life. Um, and then all the things he does in the show, he would actually do those in real life. <laughs> like, I think Evan would day, be a bit more like a- The like, balloons? Yeah. I, I think Evan- Please. Yeah, no. Please help me out here. I think the way that Henry and Evan differ is that Evan may have a little bit less- uh, I, I, Evan probably would, would be like, all right, I can take a hit. Yeah, and Evan is yeah. obviously, he's a little bit cooler. Like, let's get real. And he, yeah, he dresses just a little. better. Mm -hmm. He dresses better than Henry. I'll give yeah, him that. Henry's outfits are, uh, <laughs> Scooby Doo. Not the best. <laughs> you like blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, 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 about you ah, blue. what about Amalia? Yeah. Um, Are you like your character? Like she's, she's not pretty as, different. She's pretty different, yeah. yeah. She's not as, like, angsty. Yeah, no, yeah. She's. The same amount of like drama, I think. <laughs> I think that that's I fair. I think the way Maddie finds drama, <laughs> Leah kind of finds drama. Mm -hmm. But um, I also think deep down, Maddie still always puts her family first. And yeah, yeah. That's totally Leah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely. That's that's an accurate thing. I yeah. think Taylor very mature for her age. Mm -hmm. um, very smart. Very smart. <laughs> Just a little whip. This one, um, yeah, I think I think that's probably the biggest similarity I would find there. And then Spencer, Spencer. and Scout. Hmm. You um, know what? You know what? Spence doesn't come coming from someone who's known Spence for a while. Doesn't ever come across on camera how genuinely like like I say the word dorky again, but like how dorky he is and funny and 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 goofy that he's yeah. going to be. But I yeah. think his characters he always gets cast kind of just like. Like a young Johnny Depp kind of thing. Right. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> okay. Jack Sparrow. We love it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah. Quick lightning round, single word answers, real fast. And did Taylor's you? just as sweet as Taylor. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we jump in front? No, we didn't. We got. We got. Okay. But yes, I like lightning round. Um, okay, lightning round. Favorite Disney movie. Favorite Disney movie. Uh, oh, Tangles. I'm so on the spot here. Um, there's too many. Little Mermaid. Ah. Lion King. <laughs> Lion King's good too. Ooh. Beauty and the Beast. Or Beauty oh, and the Beast. Oh, uh, with Emma Watson. Favorite so food. Favorite oh, food. Uh, pho. Poutine pho. and pho. Mm -hmm. Pho. It's pronounced pho. I can't change the way I say it now. Yeah, it's like Vietnamese pho. people on the slide. They're gonna yell at you. I don't care. Karaoke. Karaoke. That's my aunt. Don't go freaking. Yes, I've been known. Of I've been known to dabble. In We've dabbled. If they ask me nicely, I have. Um, you doing the naked ladies from? No one asked party. nicely. <laughs> no one at all. Just aggressively. <laughs> do you have us all doing? Uh, hold on. Yes, I do. Hold on for one more day. Uh, Bobby and I. Someday, someday. Yeah, we did really do. If you guys want to have... see those karaoke videos, I'm not one to toot my Jeff own horn. But Spence and I, we did "It's Tricky" by Run DMC, and it was a contest between these two. It wasn't for who had the no. best duet. I and they chose um, "Don't Go Breaking My Heart." Come on, like <laughs> it was right? good. Come on, we, it we, was made, we made an obscure pick and we crushed it. No, not too girls. You eye rolled to the back of my head. It. We practiced it beforehand. 
We, just, we knocked it out of the park. Like, I'm not trying to say this beat is my recital, but Dude, I think it's very vital <laughs> to rock a rhyme. That's right, on time. It's trick, hit, trick, hit, trick, trick, trick. Here we go. Okay, we're taking them off the live now. <laughs> okay, then I have a serious question to get you guys off the beats of your penis. Um, and I hope I'm asking this question correctly <laughs> if I can find it. Okay. Um, so when Scout runs away, doesn't face a lot of punishment. Dad kind of understands. Maddie makes mistakes, Ooh. and she gets in a lot of trouble. Uh, Deep thoughts. It's because he's the middle child. It's because she's the it's oldest. Because I'm the oldest. Yeah, I'm the oldest in real life, and I will say I have paved the way for my siblings. Like I, we were talking about it literally yesterday. I was on Facetime with my sister, and my brother was home, and I was like, I have done everything first. They're they have it so easy. But to Everything. be fair, but as, also, as not the oldest, when all of a sudden you get your license, it's not as big of a deal. Or when you graduate, it's not a big of a deal because they've already done it for the True, oldest True, but would you rather, you know, not get as hyped up for getting your license or not be grounded for a month because you may be out of sip of alcohol? My, my perspective on that question, though, is also that what Scout did running away, he did from a place of love. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. I, I think his father could see that when he returned, you know, he, he saw that, that Scout uh, it was following his heart. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that uh, there's a certain admirability. Which John yeah. John saw out of himself then, right? Yeah. 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 He and related he that to... That. And he wasn't arrested. You know, he just he went on a little uh, little vacation. And his phone was dead, to, in all fairness. Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. True. Yeah. It was dead. Um, Maddie kind of just screws up because... So break the rules. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it's because it's she keeps things inside. Here. She doesn't like to, you know, put her pain on other people. Well, she also is harboring one of the biggest secrets True. ever. Yeah. So, you know, you gotta, gotta cut Maddie some slack. You do. Season two, which one actor would you like to guest star in the show? Good question. Like, out of anybody? Is this, a, is this a reasonable one, or are we talking yeah, about like, like, can I, I just... They didn't, they didn't qualify. Can I go real far and Don't just... Go Leo. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Crumbles away. And you can play like Eliana's dad. Oh! 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 And then, she's, she's would it be yell. really wrong if Maddie like has a love affair with him? Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe Scott too. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, off track. Um, I want to get uh, uh, Sam Rockwell because I think yeah. he could fit in as a Perry Sound local. But he's also one of my that. favorite favorite actors. Um, oh, you he's sugar caught in the chair. Did you see three? Sorry. Oh, sorry, oh Evan's just stepping did, did you ever see Three Billboards? No. Yes. Did you ever see The Green Mile? No. All right. It's okay. It's we'll educate. You know what? We're I would, gonna educate. We need like, more movie nights. I would, I would like Ben Mendelsohn to be in um, Northern Rescue and play like some like sketchy dude in the town that maybe like kidnap someone like that's oh. some real drama like uh, so so oh. sam rockwell and ben mendelson brothers grew up there uh and then robert sheehan robert sheehan we love him huge fan no, I just gave you the label, so. oh okay Good and you also my nail hit my head <laughs> okay <laughs> you don't have to answer the question but we keep getting a lot of questions how old are each of you feel free to share if you want so um, hmm. i'm 25 i'm 57 <laughs> i'm 24 i'm 14 turning 15 on monday I'm 21. I'm 25. I'm the youngest. But I still play 16, any casting director watching. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. We all do. We all audition for the same roles. <laughs> um, yeah, me and Evan movie. audition for the same parts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite sport? Favorite sport? Dance. Start, starting with fence. Okay, dance. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Cut you guys off. I, I like... Uh, sh I like billiards, like pool. That's not a sport. Really okay. Nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll accept it. Don't I'll take idea. that. Yeah. The, the one sport you find in a bar. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. Uh, beer pong? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, golf. Go ahead out. Golf. I love <laughs> golf. Golf. I love golf. Golf. I'm golfing after this. Golf. No, you're not. You're helping me. The course is open. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, um, no we're Funny going out, out for lunch after this. Funniest blooper moment. Funniest blooper moment. I have so many. I have a moment. Oh, Go God. Ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. I, don't um, I, I have one. I spill everything on set. I spill oh, oh, Cheerios. Yeah. There's, I there's, spill... Your, there's your character trait that you yeah. have. <laughs> I, um, we were doing a scene. I turned around to look at Billy, and I came back, and my elbow went down on the spoon in a bowl of Cheerios. And it was like, duh, 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 duh. 
And then also I spilled orange juice one time. And then also waffle. I put too much waffle batter in the waffle maker and my hand dropped and it was like. So yeah, those are um, some uh, it, bloopers. This, it doesn't necessarily classify as a blooper, but there was one scene um, with Ellie, Leah and myself, Amalia and myself, and they were some for some reason having just a laughing fit, but it was so but it was only on my coverage. So they got all their coverage. It was all close good. up of Evan. And me and every literally they're saying their lines to me. Like I'd smile and I'd be like, "Well, maybe we shouldn't go there." And they're like, like just looking at me, and like, <laughs> just laughing. One take. We sewered him we got, so we got hard. One take on that. That's like, so yeah. bad. It was so <laughs> mean. I felt so bad. And and like so we do his coverage or whatever. And they're like, "Okay, great, moving on." And Ellie and I were like, oh. "Well, I, I was fine." We never he did it. it. But the point is that everyone got like never. three takes and Henry. This is one take. One take wonder though. So good yeah. for you. I, I have a blooper moment. Uh, it wasn't very funny when it happens, but it was funny. I did a scene. It was funny to Eliana. I, in episode 10, when we're on the park bench or whatever, uh, when I'm leaving, I went to go grab my backpack and the, the helmet is like attached to the backpack. Oh, oh gosh. Swung, yeah. like clocked me right in the <laughs> nose and like cut my nose. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And like, I remember like cut. And, I was like, oh. and then like they had to like cover up his makeup. And I was like, uh. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, how many mosquito bites I got that season on my face? It was just like, mm -hmm. on yeah, my I, face. I, mosquito I, bites. I struggle with mosquito bites. Right. I'm slightly allergic to them. They're all big. <laughs> Hello to Alberta, London, Scotland, Germany. Hi. Hi, Hi to our Rachel. friend. <laughs> hey, lightning round. <laughs> lightning round. Okay. Zodiac sign. I'm an Aries. Libra. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Virgo. Now, yeah. now, can we all discuss what, if, if we think we actually are these signs and like how we differ to Okay. Things? That's not a lightning round, it's nor do I know those signs. <laughs> actually. Does anyone like a Nor does here? anyone care, Spencer. The only, the only reason I... Who speaks French? I speak a little bit. Un petit peu. Moi. Fromage. Un petit peu. Dans rien. I don't. Je m'appelle Taylor, je suis un... Qu'est-ce que c'est le toilette? I think that was wrong. Qu'est-ce que c'est le toilette? Favorite vacation spot. Favorite what? Vacation superhero. Spider-Man. Um. Uh. Hmm. You know what? I would choose uh Wolverine, but only because of like Hugh Jackman's legendary performance. I bet you if I was just on comics, I wouldn't necessarily choose Wolverine. But if I'm going off of Hugh Jackman, amazing. Does Buffy count as a superhero? Because sure. she would be she does mine. Are you just trying to like get a like a role right now? Are you like pushing it? You like if and if that's and that, the that, remake, you don't like when you, you know, I okay. just you know I can wield a stake. So let's let's augment that question. If you were to pick one superpower each, which superpower would you pick? Time travel. Like All right, Time yeah. travel. No, sorry. Um, um, teleporting. If, oh. we, if we've if anyone here has seen the movie Chronicle. Uh, I would want that power. So it's advanced telekinesis. You can even levitate yourself. Why is he so smart about yeah. this stuff? I would, I would choose advanced telekinesis. Isn't that when you can like walk into a wardrobe and end up in Narnia? Is that that movie? <laughs> nope. Oh. Oh. Well, is it different? That's the Chronicle? Chronicle. <laughs> 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 um, Wait. Um, mine would probably be invisibility. Yeah. No, I would want to fly. Oh, that'd yeah. be so cool. See, I picked teleporting because it's like you're flying, basically, but you get to places super fast. It's a very yeah, you're thing. Though, if you can fly, then you can actually feel yourself you fly. traveling. Right. Yeah, but if you fly, you can go extra fast, too, and then you can just get there just as fast. It's, it's arguably the most and I get to fly. power there is, because I would want to uh, travel completely. I'd want to create season two if I could and just go like this, and we would have one. Oh, that was smart. I like that power. Oh. Quick like a whip. Uh, question for Why Spencer. Why we keep him around? Was that a CG bear? Was that a real bear? Was that a beauty oh, costume? And what was it like working with it? It was real. Ursula was very real. <laughs> and very magnificent. Like, like, do I have marks to show you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a story that's... Uh, yeah, it was a real bear. Uh, and it was awesome to shoot with. Uh, a little bit intimidating at first, but once uh, once you get to know her, she's a real sweet friend. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> searching for his water, not to give me a hug. I was searching to give you a hug. That's what I was doing here for. <laughs> Hi, Pennsylvania. Hi, Germany. Hello. Fans from there. What's your favorite turtle out of Bay pastime? Sitting on the back of a Jeep with the love of my life talking about her jacket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really cute. <laughs> like, oh. That was so cute. Oh, that's my favorite, too. No, my favorite was 
going for a ride on the SS Maddie West, which is apparently now water vomit. Oh no. It's fixed. He fixed I it. I fixed it. I put some ice cream. He fixed it just for you. Just for you because you're special. I'll fi if I fix your broken heart, <laughs> will you fix the SS yeah. Maddie West? Yeah, there's a hole in my heart that needs mended. So, so then we'll mend that and then we'll yeah. go and fix the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. My mom says I'm still grounded. Oh. Oh. Can I ask why you're grounded? I yeah, what does she do? Can I see? I like oh, it. Oh, I really hope my grandma's not watching this right Ow, now. Ow, you're on my it? hair again, Evan. Get your hair out of the way. Thank you. This yeah. is the problem it's with having long days. hair. <laughs> Who are your idols? Billy. Awesome. Yeah. Trying to yeah. suck up? <laughs> uh, Billy Idol was the joke, actually. No, 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 I, meant, I, yeah, I meant Billy uh, Lullman. <laughs> um, um, an idol. Mine's Emma Watson. Yeah, that's a good one. Will Smith's very high up for me. <clears throat> I yeah. really love Nicole Kidman. I don't need to justify that. Oh, also like Meryl Streep. My mom. Oh, yeah. yeah. My mom is an idol to me. Oh, I saw that on my live stream. Yeah, you have to Mine was my mom's my inspiration. Like, actually, my mom's inspiration. It's true. Oh, Favorite Netflix know. show? Besides Northern Rescue? Of Can course. Can yeah, okay. Um, God. Netflix show. I mean, The Office. If the Umbrella Academy. Kind of saying like something like, yeah. that's not current. Um, I love Academy. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's a great one. Mm -hmm. Great show. Evan is, reminds me of the lead. Jay Peralta. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll, take it. I'll take it in every aspect of the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, Merci. One of each of your favorite episodes of Northern Rock. Episode 10. I mean, that's, yeah. That's Come such on. a good episode. I said this awesome about episode 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know why. I like it. Uh, I like the, the sequence with Billy where he's in the house and he's trying to escape. I think. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so beautiful. Real. Such um, a good scene. For, for my character personally, I, I also enjoyed it because um, Scout gets high in that episode and there's like a scene where he's like, where I, the director was like, Bradley, was uh, directing me to like be filling up a bottle of water and like missing it. And it, was, it was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. We worked on those things. Uh, cool yeah. yeah. And we're at the house. Yeah. Episode okay. 9 was good. Ta I liked 9 Can and 10, wait. and I really liked the pilot. Um, and I really, really liked the scene with you, Spencer, and your mom with the bear, like intercut, when mm -hmm. she's like, I'll always be there. I was a wreck. Because I had never seen that scene. Yeah, I, I like read, seeing we scene read it, but I it's never so saw it. Watching so. it then because yeah, I watched oh, it. I read the script, like, but that's completely different than watching the performance. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is weird, you know, because it, it's such it's it's so recent that we we would do table reads, right? And yeah. Read the script out, and you can you can try and envision it, but it's it's, it's nothing like watching it. You so know? different. It's like like yeah. even like the scenes I did with Spencer, like when I was reading them, I was like picturing something completely different than what happened. Mm. But then they turned out so good. Mm. So I was like, yeah. I have a question. Yes. <clears throat> Somebody's asking, um, why uh, are we playing certain gender roles? Like, the little sister is always making food, cleaning up after her older brother, taking care of her older brother. Is That's not because you're a girl, is it? It's because... You're... No, it's because... Um, Taylor's more of like she just likes to do that and she likes to take care of her family It's not something that she is made to do. That's she just does it because she wants to she's mature. Yeah That's just Would something more mature than some of the other kids. Yes, <laughs> especially than this guy over here Plus you, you first meet Taylor after uh, the passing of her mother who might have like so she's kind of picking up the slack of her dad working all the time and stuff. Yeah right? Yeah Excellent mm -hmm. Do we? How much fun is that pillow fight? Oh, amazing! That's a real pillow fight. That's a real pillow fight. The feathers flying everywhere. It was. A Billy got wrecked. wrecked yeah. If we're being honest. Have you ever been in like like you watch pillow fights on TV and it's like <laughs> you're in a pillow fight. People are trying to kill you. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Someone I, hit with a oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor was assaulting me with that. <laughs> Attacking her. Attacking. So she literally picked me up off the coffee table. I was like, enough, <laughs> small child. Okay, do any of us have siblings? Yes, I have Good one. Question. I have a sister. I have three siblings. Sister, brother, and little sister. You have 
You have two. I have two sisters, and I have an older brother. We all have siblings. Shout out to Dylan. Dude. Shout out to Holly, Ricky, Sam. Shout I don't out know to why Megan. I'm Mainly <laughs> Ricky. Ricky's my man. Hey, Rick. I Ricky's love Ricky. He's a good dude. He's a very good dude. Brad from Baltimore says hello again. Oh, no. Hi, Brad. Oh. <laughs> no. We're done. Sorry, Brad. You had your moment, all right? <laughs> Did, we wrap? Did, Did you wrap? see it? Oh, yeah, you didn't watch the stream, though. I Did watched those! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Taylor, how do you fit in a regular school in the back? Um, I do... It's it's hard, because like, I have to miss for auditions and things like that. What? Oh. <laughs> um, but I take a class online so that at the end of the day, so all my classes are in the morning because for auditions, when you're my age, they make them um, at the end of the day so that kids can go to school because um, it's part of like the laws and things like that about being a child actor. And so I do an online class at the very end of school so that basically my end periods where I would have to leave to go to Toronto are free. And I can just catch up on that also. And school is mostly online now anyways. There's like Google Classroom and things like that. So I always check and make sure I'm updated on my work. I'm a pretty good student, I'd say. I love school. I like math and science. Those are my favorite subjects. I'm a little bit of a geek in that department. What was your favorite subject, guys, in school? My Gym. science. <laughs> Art. <laughs> Lunch. 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 Art. Spencer's definitely one of those kids. Lunch. Um, somebody asked if we're in college and university. I'm or in if high we school. Did it, so let's do that. I'm finishing my last year at Sheridan College for film and television. So behind the camera, I like to write and direct as well. Take it away. I'm I'm. I just graduated graduate. from Degrassi a while back. Post-secondary. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your Starbucks order? We haven't had to answer, answer the question. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Evan. I stopped on you. I uh, I I graduated We're just uh, college a little while back for acting for film and television. And I'm in high school. Okay, our Starbucks, Starbucks orders. Okay. Iced coffee. Chai tea latte with almond milk. Um, I get a variety of things. I like the pink drink, and I also like a passion tea lemonade. Oh, those are so good. We used to get those all the time when we were filming passion mm -hmm. tea lemonades. Mm -hmm. And then I also like in the winter time. I like. Um, caramel lattes, yeah. Those are really Evan, I think there's a lot of caffeine. You know those little cake pops that they have? They're like little, and they're like on a stick. They're I don't so get moist. Those. I don't get those. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why would you? Take... Build up My sister gets time. those. They're delicious. I don't even like. I don't cake. like cake, but they're good because like they're ice moist. Cream. Stop anyway, moist. <laughs> <laughs> moist. Uh, I, people keep screaming, when's the new Degrassi coming out? Do you have any Oh idea? my goodness. I, I, have, I have no involvement or knowledge of whether there will be a new season. I, I don't think there will be, and if there is, it probably won't be with the, the cast that um, was on it, so I apologize. But um, you have a plethora of Degrassi seasons to go through and rewatch. And... My Omi says that we're all Aww. welcome back to Huntsville during season two. I love going to Huntsville. That was like yes. a highlight of my <clears throat> summer. Speaking of season two, oh. we don't know if we'll get one unless you guys rate the show. She's just using another excuse to pick up these cue cards. I'm not kidding. But yeah, rate the show on IMDb and just to move her coffee. Um, and on Rotten Tomatoes, make sure you tell friends to watch it on Netflix if you're not in Canada. And if you're in Canada, make sure you watch it on CBC Jam. I love friends that. to watch it. Yeah. Hashtag Renew for Two and tag Netflix and CBC on our posts. You can follow me on Instagram, that's Taylor Thorne, and Amalia, what's your username? Amalia Williamson. Is it just Amalia Williamson? Williamson? Yeah, but with two A's. Okay. And Spencer, which is J I J Spencer Mac. You guys already found and Spencer anyway. Evan yeah. eleven, <laughs> Evan eleven, Evan eleven. That's yes. it, right? Yes. How long did it take you guys to build season one? Four months. Four months. Four and a half months. Can we answer a question uh, like this, one one word at a time, but we all have to answer it? I yeah. Like I like that idea. Okay. Okay, let's get a question. Let's get a good one. <clears throat> um, we should play. A we should teach them. Can Maddie do a hair tutorial? Absolutely. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Yes, I want to be on it. Can I guess that? Absolutely. <laughs> Mine will be how to, how, to tame, how to tame the curls. If I'm on your thing. No? Okay. Anyway, yeah, sure. What's going on over here? <laughs> oh, Ellie asked when alive with Amalia and Eliana. I'm going to visit her uh, in like three weeks. Because she gets to go to Coachella, lucky. I'm going to Palm Springs, and then I'll go to LA and visit her. Anyway, um, so we have to find a... 
a question. Yeah, we need a good question. Um. Favorite Billy moment. <laughs> Billy is so we're, gonna have, to, one we're gonna have to work together here then. Ready? Favorite Billy moment. Ready? Okay. My favorite Billy moment was when we filmed the scene in the giant massive <laughs> ginormous hospital. Oh. And, oh god. The big hospital. Dark. And <laughs> and he cried. Dude. My favorite Billy moment. I think Billy is, <laughs> is Billy is a master storyteller. Yeah. And it's it's something that's it's a it's a really like things blow up. What? Yeah. Hmm? It's just a very very like <laughs> interesting like like <laughs> when Billy's telling a story, everyone's just like quiet and like yeah. captivated. And, uh, and yeah, so we are listening to all of his stories. And yeah, stories in between when we're shooting, he would yeah. tell us so many stories about filming and things like that. And they're just, yeah. I, uh, I had to, when, the day when I drove Billy around in the Star Trek, he told me this story that when he was working with Ron Howard and they wet the ground and he had to do this big skid. And in the car, he, he'd skid and right at the window, the camera would be, and that would be the shot. But then they wet the ground on the real one. And they were like, you know what? We're gonna need to. We're gonna move the camera last second. It's not gonna be usable take because we don't know how you can judge the white ground. And he said he just did it so perfectly. And the camera got moved, and he was like, God damn it, guys! Like it was perfect. It's a great story. He's a good storyteller. He's such He's a, a great storyteller. storyteller. Honestly, I liked when I got to yell at Billy. Uh, our first day working together in the car, it was awesome because we both just went for it, and it was like, yeah. The first day working with Billy, I had to cry. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a yeah. lot of tears, mm -hmm. a lot of yelling, a lot of laughs. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Overall, a swell guy. Yeah, Overall. we love Billy. What's the one thing you identify mm -hmm. most with each of your characters? Hmm. Uh, so we kind of already talked about this, but the way that Maddie, Maddie holds things in. She doesn't like to burden other people with her problems, um, which is also a little bit of a fault of hers, though, because you can't. Especially at her age, bottle things up like that. But I definitely do that. I don't. Sometimes when I'm sad and hurting and angry, I don't like to tell people that are closest to me, like my family, who could help me. I bottle it up, and then it ends in me freaking out and having a meltdown. So, um, I think Henry uh, has a lot of love and respect for women, and as do I. Um, I think, you know, maybe I don't go the whole nine yards like he does with, with certain things, but just the way you can tell he would like, be a, be a, be the kind of guy that all the moms are like, who wanted my daughter to get him? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I mean, that sounds like, a, like I'm calling yeah, myself, yeah. but I don't mean it like that. I just mean, um, that's pretty serious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I have to finish this one first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, with my character, something I resonate most with is probably being... Um, I guess being a big perfectionist and like yeah. making sure I'm perfect all the time because Taylor's all really like that and you can tell that be between episode one and I'm also like that and it can be a fault and it can be a good thing yeah. but sometimes uh, you can push too much pressure on yourself and it gets overwhelming and that happens to me sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Good answer. So that's something I do. Uh, we got a question from Lily. Um, being an aunt, tell me what Aunt Kathleen moments stood out. I spent a lot of time with Kathleen, and I think for me, <clears throat> when Taylor gets bullied, um, I have a scene with Kathleen where I'm telling her about what happened, and she's kind of just being there and supporting me, and I think that's a moment that I always remember from that show. Um, yeah, that's just something that stood out for me, and Kathleen is like that in person. She's just honestly so sweet and always there for you and mm -hmm. talks to you and things like that. So, yeah. We love you, Kathleen. We love you, love Kathleen. You, Kathleen. Love you, Kathleen. Lots of love. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> talk talk. Hey, will Maddie come back home? Will Maddie come back home? Do we know home? if Maddie's necessarily not back home yet? Like, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. That's all for season two, right? Mm -hmm. Make that. sure you... Pre your prediction. Two. Predictions. Predictions for season two. I think I think that Maddie's gonna probably move out. I think she's gonna find somewhere else to live for a little while. I think she might explore 
I can't give away any spoilers, but because uh, I don't know if you've all watched it, but I think she might go and live with someone else. Henry. Um, <laughs> Henry. <laughs> This I, is turning into a new show. I think Taylor's probably going to get pretty sick. I think that's kind of like mm, something they're hinting at with all the fainting and the waking up in the woods. Mm. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll see about that. And somebody asked, um, will Taylor tell the family about being sick? So if you want to know, make sure you're doing all the things he says so you can find out in season two. Yeah. Predictions? I'm not sure I... I think that um, Scout's gonna become a uh, ship with Gwen. I think you guys are gonna date. <laughs> I think so. That, I ship it. Could, yeah, I think that would be like. Um, Hashtag ship. A very. She might take him down a dark path, which would be interesting. It would be interesting. Um, Evan, do you have any or? Someone asked if we're cat or dog people. That's a fun question. I'm allergic dog. to both. That's awful. Uh, it's yeah, really oh, sad so for you. Wait, she's not allergic to my dog? No, Daisy I'm allergic to, and I'm not allergic to Sassy, who is the dog on set, the makeup artist. Are they hyperallergenics? No, hyperallergenic doesn't mean anything to me, because I'm allergic to the dandruff to live. But, like, hair. Daisy is, but, yeah. So, so why so. would you not be allergic to those? Is there some... some I don't, don't have dandruff hair or saliva. <laughs> <laughs> I guess some dogs are just stronger than others. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I don't I'm, know. I'm a dog person. I like cats and kittens, but I'm so allergic. I'm a dog guy. For yeah. Sure. I'm, I'm a, a dog. Um, yeah. I'm I love both. Um, I, I go back and forth. I think dogs, though. But yeah. I love my, my roommate's cat. So Lily Meyer says, being an ant, what, tell me what ant We, we just we answered that. that. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Go. Lightning round. Coffee. Tea. Coffee. coffee. I don't drink coffee. I'm, I'm, she's actually 14 and she's a little child. I'm a baby. Oh, I started hey. drinking coffee then. Hey. I drink coffee only if I'm really tired. Hey, like my friend, my friend ordered iced coffees to the school the other day and it was really, really much needed. <laughs> Who's the tallest between you four? Yeah. Me, obviously. I think I'm the tallest. No, I think I might be the tallest. It's obviously me. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's I'm obviously five, three. Me. Let's just say our freaking close, heights. I'm 6'5". Okay. Hi, Los Angeles. I'm five two. I'm Hi, five two. Emmy. Hi, Annette. Alistair. Thank you for hanging on with us. Hi, Austria. California. 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 We went different ways with that, but it was kind of yeah. nice. I went the OC right there. Flavor. Which I like. Okay. Would you like to have a penguin as a pet in real life? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, don't get me wrong, I love Deo, and I, I love Tux, them. but that, first of all, that'd be way too hard, because, I mean, they're penguins, I need a pool. Can we sign that? Um, yes, yes, we can. Yeah, we can. But I think it'd be way too difficult, I think. And Not for them. They're no, wizards. no, no, I'm they're talking good about the penguin. Oh. Like, <laughs> no one heard what you said, like, so... Yeah. I was confused, but no, no one heard what you said on the so, live. They're so, going to make a rap about Northern Rescue. Go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> He's a water smoke. I'm not prepared. <laughs> what, what do you think makes Northern Rescue stand up from other shows with similar topics? I think it's because it's really relatable. It's really uh, real, like, I guess, kind of, yeah, it's relatable. There's a lot of moments in it that real families go through. Yeah. Real kids. Make it yeah. different from I other shows. I think a very interesting thing about Northern Rescue is where other shows would take it into the realm of like the maybe unbelievable or fantastical. Yeah. We kind of keep it all in a very, what? Real we, 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 we keep it all in a very real grounded place. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as far as like the blueprint of the show, it could seem kind of out there, but with the performances and everything, like you said, it keeps it, it keeps it grounded and, and believable. Yeah, and it's uh, anyone can watch it. Like it doesn't. Yeah. You can. The age range is anyone. Literally yeah, anyone. Literally. A lot of shows say that, but it's like no, anyone can watch this. It's yeah. appropriate. It's relatable. So we only have a few minutes left. We'd like to answer uh, one or two more great questions. Um, so let's leave find them. it. Yeah. Hi, Roy. Roy's on. Roy, hi, Roy. Hi, Roy. Pick me up every morning. Yeah, every morning that you woke up five minutes before your cold time. Yee! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> and we have to go! Okay. My mom would literally wake her up. What are like, you? Guys, I got a question go. for you. 
by season ten. <clears throat> season ten. What? Where? Where's the? What would you hope the end game? Where? Where does your character kind of end up? Best case scenario. Married to Henry. Uh, Aww. Aww. Maybe he goes back to Allison. Aww. Maybe he Taylor doesn't have a boyfriend, boyfriend so that's him. not. <laughs> you know what I think? Taylor's just hanging out with the banquet. <laughs> With Scout, I think Scout would, uh, as we've seen in season one, Scout's going to follow a lot more than he even expects, but in his father's footsteps. That would, would be interesting, too. I just think it's everything he's doing, you kind of see through John yeah. slightly, right? Like, even, mm -hmm. I mean, the wrestling's more of a forced thing, but just just the way he is and the, and the moves he makes. So I think yeah. you'd be surprised at how similar he could follow in Billy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about for the who would have the biggest change of 10 years? Or is he Taylor in ten years? We are. Like, so she'd be, she she'd be twenty two. Mhm. Mm so. Um, university probably. I was very smart. So. Doing something Definitely crazy. University neuroscience. What if she robotics? Like, was like, gonna be the youngest president. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, probably something <clears throat> with school. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we see Taylor, she looks older and older, and she's like, it's just like crazy to to witness. <laughs> and so I think that yeah, like every season we come back, it's just like it's gonna be. If we. What do, about Maddie? Where's Maddie? Besides that one. Besides Mary to Henry. Where's Maddie? Like in a in a realistic. Ten years, where 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 you're happy that she'd be twenty six. Oh, so maybe not marriage yet. That's pretty early. But maybe she realizes that Henry really is the one that's there for her. I think she. I think it's gonna take her a long time to realize that Henry is the one that is, that's there for her, and that her family is always there for her. I think she needs to realize that. And you know, in the season, she <clears throat> isn't the nicest to uh, the people that she's closest to, mm -hmm. um, which I think a lot of people do. A lot of people treat their family kind of poopy because they know that they'll always be there, but poopy? it's not necessarily the way they show up. I think the pushing away will, will slowly <laughs> It'll go away. away. Yeah. And, you know, she really pushes Kathleen away, and I think that she needs to grow um, stronger. Her relationship with Kathleen needs to grow a little bit stronger. And, yeah. you know, she's, Kathleen's just trying to be there for her. Or, sorry, Charlie's trying to be there for her um, and not replace her mom. But, you know, take on that role. I think I would so, like if, due to any sort of circumstance, a lot of um, responsibility fell on your character. Like, kind of like yeah. being shameless. But not in like yeah. a, like in a way that it's, because right now, Maddie gets a bunch of responsibility. It would be very much yeah. like, why do I have to do this? I'm, you know, I'm still 17. I should get to live. But in a way that she accepts it and, and, and like rises up to it, I think that'd be nice. If you could get any other show, what would you choose? Really quickly. Oh, man. Like Currently an existing on? one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really, she's already cast. I really wanted to be Sabrina from Sabrina the Teenage mm. or Sp the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So that's mine. What is this? Um, you can answer the question. Well, if you want. But um, I would do um, the Umbrella Academy. Oh, would yeah. Be Robert Sheehan? No, he does it too good. I'd want to be like some other. I'd just be like a guy who gives them coffee. <laughs> I'd be a PA. No, you you would want to be Breaking Bad though. For being oh yeah, but that's not on. Yeah, Jesse Pinkman. Oh, it's really currently on the shows. I don't watch this. Yeah. Um, so we are gonna wrap this up by saying, guys, we would love to do a season two for you. Yes. Season uh, two for you. Season two for you. So you have to go on IMDb, rate us, and we you must write tomatoes. Follow us on ha Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Everything. Else? All the socials. Everything. All the socials. Hashtag number two. Hashtag Team Henry. Hashtag everything. Hashtag watch us on Netflix and on CBC Gym. <laughs> we this love you. you. This is what you could have. <laughs> it could be that. <laughs> okay, right, guys. guys. Bye. Bye. We love you. Thank you all so much. We love our fans. We, we love, love you all. You guys.